Hey guys, quick long way back. I'm Aaron. I'm Melanie. And we are back with Supergirl, where previously we started and ended the season. Started and ended, yep. <laughs> we had Welcome Back. Ah, uh, she everyone's dead. No, and we're not dead. <laughs> that but it did feel like we were wrapping up uh, last season, which got interrupted, and we didn't fully finish off everything there. Um, we do have Kara who is in the Phantom Zone. Right. We have a new Sentinel. A new Sentinel? Yep. Uh, Lex has been defeated, and his mind has been wiped of Kara. That's right, along with Lillian, the along mother. Along with Lillian. Uh, so, which Lena hopefully did something good. Sure, maybe. Or maybe not. We'll just see. Maybe she's going to be evil again. Ah. No, they're not going to do that. Um, <laughs> anyway, with uh, Kara in the Phantom Zone, there was also like a last will testament, hey, this is me and I want to talk to you guys, but we did not watch it. And is the reason we didn't watch that kind of the part of why we had a poll. Which the poll led to, do you believe that they are setting up for Kara to die by the end of the season? <clears throat> 34% said, I believe that she will be dead. While 65% said, I believe that she will be alive. Honestly, it's a lot closer than I thought it might be. Um, Oliver says, I hope she's alive just so we can see her in Superman and Lois. Yeah. Which was one of the things that we talked about, too, because there was some moments in there where I'm like, man, shouldn't Carter have shown up? And she didn't. So, like, could she be dead? Could she be in the Phantom Zone? Is there a reasoning as to why she wasn't there or anything? And they can even recast her because we don't... We're still unsure of the timeline, but if this is supposed to be Kara 16 years from now, you can recast and it doesn't even have to be Melissa Benoist. I guess. Also, like, you could have uh, Kara in the Phantom Zone living whatever moment she wants to, and then she comes out and it's been five years. True. Um, That's very true. Speedy Cat says, since, since it is the final season, I suppose it's possible. However, I don't want that. I want her and her friends to be happy. Aw. <laughs> Dip says she will live because any ending that doesn't involve her and Lena going off into the uh, sunset <laughs> together, I will hate. <laughs> I first thought I was reading it wrong, but nope, nope. that's what it is. Yep. No, at least they fixed the Lena stuff going on. Yeah, I mean, they did not seem like besties, but of course Kara was like, come on, Lena. Shut up, stop apologizing, let's move on to get this done. So, I don't know exactly where their friendship lies at the moment. Sure. Um, Ryan has a point with the Arrowverse uh, ended Arrow with a main character death, and it would be repetitive. Plus, didn't Oliver also sure. do sacrifices so that Barry and Kara could live better lives? Which that led back into a previous crossover um, way back when, I think it was Elseworlds where hmm. there was, like, a deal being made, right? Right. So that's where that all started. So her so. better life does not uh, pertain to Has she being already stuck had it? in there. Has she already had her better life? All one season of it since Crisis. All right. And we'll end with Michael here, who's basically saying that until the ending, she will both be Schrodinger's Kryptonian. <laughs> Alive and dead. Until we know. And open up the Phantom Zone to get her out. Um, no, I doubt that uh, someone else was saying too. I doubt that she would die in the Phantom Zone necessarily, yeah. especially with like no one else around or something along those lines. But maybe we get her out, or we have some kind of thing occurring that okay. would happen. Okay. But of course, we're still trying to find that one person that has been to the Phantom Zone before. And who could it be? Perhaps we'll find out this time. Is not dead. I didn't look that big, really. Look at whatever those are! Nosferatu! <laughs> what are those? It's curry. Luther Foundation Blood Bank. Nosferatu! Huh? A blood Bank! Maybe they are vampires. This might be more beavery. Um. <laughs> ah! It's vampire! Oh, crap! Ha ha! Suck for you. No pun intended. <laughs> totally pun intended. Look at him. Holy crap! Shh, shh. Keep dreaming, Dracula. They don't need Kara. Dracula. Bat. Oh, he turned to a bat. He is a vampire, just straight up. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! There he is. No oh, man. Hmm. I wish I wish we had a net. Oh, sorry. I'm 
I'm sorry. I rob blood banks so I don't have to hurt people. We're not interested in the robbery. Oh, is he the one? We'll let you go. If you help us. He's the one who went to the Phantom Zone. Help you with what? Uh, we want you to help us break into the Phantom Zone. <laughs> Why in the hell would you want to do that? Well, no one that we know. Or at least no one no. that I know. Maybe you know them. I really didn't think that we were going into actual vampires. I just thought those one guys looked like Nosferatu. Calm down. There are no phantoms here. Oh. Who are you? As if you don't know. You bear the glyph of my house. Ooh. So you must be some sort of mirage. Father? What? Her dad's here? Carl. Is this a fear trap thing or something? Is it real? Huh. When I chose to stay on Krypton to activate Argo Sheath, I knew there was no way I'd get off the planet in time. So he went into the Phantom Zone to get out. Sending of myself here was a last ditch attempt to save my life. Hmm. I'm terrorist. We are trapped here forever. Hmm. We will never die, but we may yet survive. You must accept that car or you will go mad and remain so for eternity. So you try and the phantoms come after you, or you don't try and you just stay there forever. And survive, <clears throat> not live. <laughs> Big Belly Burger. Man, it's been so long since we've seen Big Belly Burger. Have we seen it in here? Or just Flash? It's been everywhere. He can have super it. by Sunday. Lex Luthor stands accused of attempting to brainwash <clears throat> half of humanity into loving him and to murder the rest. And this in addition Look, to the actual all murder and conspiracy charges. We'll prove him guilty of every charge. No, she won't. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, damn, not the Big Belly Burger. Aww. Or Eve Tessmacher, jilted lover, hell-bent on revenge, setting up the man He's going to pin all of this on her? You made me kill. You made me do all of it. You made testimony me testimony be stricken from the record and her plea deal revoked. Oh, uh, and if you'd be like throwing in a charge of perjury, that'd be cool too, Your Honor. This is something you would do to me, huh? What? Throw what me under the bus? Well, if it meant I was going to go to jail. I'd like to sell you my shares. Why? Because Luther Corp in your brother's hands is nothing more than a weapon. We both know it. Mm. My shares, at least she with finally yours, knows it. Former majority, Lex couldn't outvote no matter how hard he schemed. Hmm. Think of what you could do. Why in the world would I need to bribe my own daughter? Because you know I'm going to testify against Lex. An Good. idiotic and childish notion. If I don't speak to the brainwashing charges, <clears throat> then he might go free. So let him. Why? What? Your brother nearly threw everything away. It's not a risk. It's a certainty. Lex won't hesitate to take you down with him. He knows better than anyone how to get under your skin. Yeah. I'm counting on it. Oh, she's got a plan too? What's this? Hey, oh, I thought sorry, it was her. No, it was... I'm going to get us out of here. Now her powers do not work on here. I'm right? assuming... Maybe she has some for now. She can't even take two steps out of the cave. Get away from her. Jeez. Well, she did not get very far. Well, I won't let my daughter go into the rocks alone. So if you're going to insist on trying. We do it together. I'm going with you. So then we both get stuck. Two feet out of the cave. No, he seems to do fine. What could one more witness possibly testify to? Lena. Dun, Everything else. Dun, dun. She didn't even change clothes. No, no, Cherry. It's to do no harm. I mean, that was... Now, by your own admission, you yourself would have had both the means and the opportunity to commit the brainwashing of which I stand accused, would you not? No. Why would I waste my time workshopping your faulty science fair project? Because your little sister had created something that you needed. Something that you could never have come up with on your own. You've never done anything on your own. You've always needed me. Objection. You can't stand that I don't need you anymore. No. Me, your precious non no cherry would have never gotten off the ground. So you think you can just take credit for my work? You're damn right I can. It takes guts 
to wield power. So is he perjuring himself? And I wield my power to make the world better. Mm. So did I help develop non no cherry? Yes. It's no surprise that this entire case has fallen apart when every single charge hinges on the unsubstantiated hearsay of bitter women like my sister and Eve. Bitter. Women who, mind you, could have committed these crimes themselves. I did not commit the crimes of which I stand accused, but if I had, who could blame me? If push came to shove, you'd have done it. The defense rests. Do do uh, do cross. Yes. Come on. The jury's gonna be at a standstill. I don't know. Hopefully, it's not just like, well, we decided this. Let's bring Supergirl home. No way, we're getting her already, right? No, I think the whole next episode we're gonna be in the Phantom Zone. It. Crisis. When all the timelines converged into one, the opposite must have happened here. It's no longer one pocket dimension, but many. An interdimensional archipelago. Oh, oh, well, Jimmy yeah. should still be able to find her in there. Years for us to make it to each of them. Supergirl is in there, okay? We are not, not gonna go get her. Alex, wait. I won't give we up. We can't go headstrong and then we'll get stuck. Uh, Phantom coming there. Ah! Oh. Well, great. Now Phantoms have escaped. Why didn't they close it? Why does no one look when they shoot these guns? I know, I I don't understand that. Good either. job, Magan. She looked at stuff. Like they keep looking down. So it wasn't Nia. Nia. She was like, Yeah. I've got the shit. Man. Uh uh oh, don't don't kill him. No one protected him. She didn't cover him! Your dream power helped me in the past. Allow me to repay the favor. Ah, uh, cool. That? Oh, that is much better. <coughs> All right, can you like maneuver this? Okay, yeah, you yeah, can. Then shut them all down. Hmm. They're gonna find him not guilty, aren't they? Yep. Son of a gun. Or they couldn't make a verdict. Hey, that's his Otis yeah. guy. Judge. We, the jury, find the defendant. Not guilty. On all counts. I've been at it for hours. Eat. That pizza or dinner. To, well, you don't want to carry the doing? pizza like that. Brandy's still running analytics on the projection. She's all just it's slow going. Right now. now that you're free, what's next? I'm just glad that I can return to I'm going making Disney a difference World. as a free man. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 21st century keyboard sucks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. In our future, they're not even they're there. No, she did. That's all the food for Car being back in the. Alex. But apparently, people love a guy who tells it like it is. <laughs> the key is, if you can get them to buy it long enough, they stop being able to discern whether you're telling it like it really is, or how you want them to believe mm -hmm. it is. Which one of you thieving idiots drank my O negative? <laughs> Does he live with Where more people? Oh no, the phantom that blew his breath in him. He blew him. What's going on? Oh, that what is that? Is that the portal thing? Are those Where the did guards? He just go? I have no idea. Then I guess we're gonna have to catch a phantom. How does one catch a phantom? Hmm, interesting. So is there an actual phantom out in the real world? Or is it like a vision of fear? Because he fears the phantom so much? Yeah, I, that's what I could not tell. I could not tell if it was a vision, like if he was stuck in a fear again, or if an actual phantom came out of his mouth. But then... I said out. But then the transition was kind of cool but weird there, I think it so was, I don't understand. It was just the phantom that was there, and then it just transitioned to showing another phantom that was there. So I think all the phantoms look the same. Unless he's envisioning Kara. Like, unless he, no, Silas is seeing Kara. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, it, was a, it was a cool, strange transition. I don't know. I imagine it's going to be like a... 
it's like a fear inducing thing right like I think that's mm-hmm. like what they were doing and then cars like eyes went all white and stuff and mm-hmm. like I think it's like a fear thing happening um but my one question is like like here we had Kara's dad being here yeah is that a hundred percent true is it some kind of trick within the phantom zone is it like I don't know like what if she what if she lives through a thing where it's like losing her father in the phantom zone and that's like her repeating the repeating over fear again. thing and whatnot that she could get or yeah is he really there because like the story they had like he sacrificed himself to shield um argo and then it went flying away and he died mm-hmm. but instead of dying trapping himself in the phantom could zone be, to where he could live and but i don't know could Maybe it be like real? a changeling that kind of that recognized the symbol on her chest and was like, "Hey, I know the dad," and shape shifted into that. Like a Martian? Maybe I don't know. Someone <laughs> trying to also escape the zone, but needed to look trustworthy. Hmm. So I don't know. There's lots of possibilities. I don't. I'm with you. I do not trust it. Yeah, just because it's in the Phantom Zone, I don't know if I trust it 100. percent um, and it's her father. Like, I, I'm with you. I thought he was supposed to be dead. Well, he was, but I like the idea that the, like, Krypton's blowing up, mm-hmm. puts up a shield, saves all those people, can't get out in time, so I'll go in the Phantom Zone and maybe I can survive because that's a, another reality place. But then he gets trapped there for a long, long time. So the concept's cool. I like that. It may be real. But maybe there's, like, a trick within it because it is the Phantom Zone. Maybe he did die, but she's like, oh, well, maybe he could be here. So it's in her mind, but... And also, he would not age. No, yeah. So... Kara, the same thing with her, right? Like, she was 14 or something, Mm -hmm. and when she got into it, she was older than Kal-El. But then by the time that she actually came out and then got to Earth, she she was was younger younger than than Kal-El because she was in there for that time period. That's why, before, I was saying, too, like, what if she's in there for five years or... Whatever, years, you know, yeah. and she wouldn't age, and we wouldn't know how much time is necessarily passing. True. And they could also be doing that here, too. Like, right now, we've seen like it's been a day for Alex and stuff, but if we spend time in the Phantom Zone, like, say you reverse this episode, right? Mm-hmm. Say we only see the outside as much as we saw the inside of the Phantom Zone this time. What if we flip that? We see the inside of the Phantom Zone much more, and then by the time help comes or they escape, we find out that the reason we're seeing so much of the inside is because so much time outside has passed. True. Which is a possibility, possibility, too. Very possible. I do not like that we did not get to see Alex tell Kelly who Kara really was. Um, they did that behind the scenes. I guess so, right? It was in between last episode and this episode. Last episode, Lena's like, you need to tell Kelly. And then this episode, they're like, we need to buy all these pot stickers because Ricard. whenever Car comes back from the Phantom Zone, like, very open. I mean, what you want to see? You want to be like, whoa. I know. But, like, I just wanted someone to say, well, yeah, I figured. <laughs> no one's going to say that because she wears glasses. Look, I'm Aaron. Now I'm someone else. See? Something Look how else. different I look. It works. Also, if I do this and then I'm bumbling, oh, jeez. That's how it works. Yep, yep. No way. I was trying to see the alternative there. It'd be like the, just a, (laughs) (laughs) ha-ha. All right. Um, What do you think about uh, Lex being found not guilty? Oh, we all saw that coming. Like, Lex gets out of everything. He had his, his line at the end where he was talking about, like, just wanting, they just want a guy who tells them like it is, but you get to the point where you can tell them and they, they won't know if it is like it is or it's just mm-hmm. what you want to tell them. And it just made me think of like current of any kind of things mm-hmm. and stuff. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I get that entirely. Yep, very powerful men very rarely get prosecuted. So Sure. And like, oh look at this guy. He's just telling us, what, telling us the truth, this and that. And then like, because people believe in it, they're telling the truth. Then when he's not telling the truth, people believe it's the truth because whatever. So, but no, yeah, I mean, I thought, I wasn't sure how things were going to go after the Lena thing. So I'm like, man, he got very, like, aggressive during this part. Yeah. And I think that's why William also was like, yes, you know? Like, he mm-hmm. was like, 
that that's you know pushing and showing his character. But then everyone's like, yeah, he's, he's powerful, and these women want to screw him. Yep, yep. Save those bitter women. Save this man. So, yeah. I, I the one thing I do get is like, it's true that there was no like hard evidence of anything. It, they didn't have like. His word against her A word. video. They didn't have, like, here's some stuff that he made. Here's mm-hmm. stuff we got from his lab. And then we had two witnesses. True. Like, was there no one else? Could Andrea not have said anything? Could... There should have been character witnesses for sure. Like, you could have had... What's the thing? Number one, you need to find people that will are willing to testify against him, right? Because, mm-hmm. like you said, he is a powerful man. That's the danger, right? Like, what was it that they were saying at the end was about... Uh... Yeah. So, like... He was prepared to kill all of them. <laughs> I imagine what that is, right? Like, he was setting up, like, I found out where the judge and jury are. When they say I'm guilty, we blow them all up. Now we have a mistrial, da-da-da-da, something or another. Uh, I, I, we escape. Whatever it's going to be. Mm-hmm. So, I was just wanting to see exactly what that was. And he was prepared to not win because of what he said. But, I don't know, it's just crazy that given, I don't know. I mean, there wasn't a lot. But at the same time, it's Lex. <laughs> I don't know. He went from crisis, though, of being, like, a hero person, right? Like, everyone looked up to him. He was a philanthropist, a savior, yada, yada. Like, I imagine that BS is also stimming of, like, well, this is the kind of character he is. And look mm-hmm. what he's saying. And these women are bitter. Yeah. This woman loved him, and he turned her down, and she tried to kill everybody. <laughs> or something, you know? Yeah. I mean, he's a great weasel. <laughs> the biggest thing is going to be what happens with Lena. Like, will she be arrested? Will she Will she be found guilty for... She will definitely go through trial. No non-cherry? Non-no-cherry? I'm hoping that Supergirl will make it out in time for the trial to, like, be a witness for Lena, but also be a witness for, like... It's frustrating that she's not here to be a witness for Lex, you know? Because if Supergirl was on the stand, she'd be able to put in a few words that might give a little more credibility than these bitter women. Would it, though? Do you think? Well, you everyone think Lex, looks up to Supergirl right now. Do you think Lex right could now. turn it to, like, sure, you're willing to say this, but you're not even willing to say who you really are. How do you know we can trust you, yada, yada, yada? Like... I just worry, like, is there some ways that he could twist some stuff like that, too? Like to he has he... before, yeah. Yeah, so, while I do agree, though, like, oh, well, if they all look up to Supergirl and listen to her and they find her as to being, like, mm-hmm. someone who helps. I think it would be more leaning towards, like, mistrial or standstill or have to be delayed or something versus completely not guilty. <laughs> sure. But what game is the mother trying to play? I don't know. She just wants Luther name to be good. Is that it? Um, I don't know. I feel like she's manipulating both children. She always does. Well, but yes. I think, but I, I think it's more so, and I don't know what her end game is. I think the end game is that the Luther name needs to be good, and she needs to not be in jail and be rich. She doesn't care about Lena. She doesn't care about Lex. But as long as she comes out on top, she's happy. And what she needs is the Luther name to be good. I guess. You know? I guess. I don't know. She didn't seem very trusting there while she was playing chess. But, sure, maybe not. But I did like her idea, though, of, like, if Lena would have listened to it, did the shares, she could have countered anything Lex did, taken away Lex's power, even if he would have been found not guilty. Mm-hmm. But his name would have been, like, kind of tarnished and stuff. Instead, they, like, had two women go against him who are bitter, and now he looks like, oh, look, he was fine. He was just, these people just don't like him, so. Yeah, I kind of wish that she took her mom up on that offer. Um, do you know anything about the planet of Transylvania? Is that what it was called? Transylvania? Transylvania? I think. I don't know anything about Transylvania. No. I'm... No. I was unfamiliar with that. But he turned into a bat. Yeah. I was like, okay, that's cool. Um, with that, though, and trying to save Kara, like, there's some interesting work, I guess, that may be happening with Nia. And trying to better her powers and stuff, especially since she doesn't know what to do. I like how her and Jean were able to combine powers there at the end to create that net, shield net. Sure. I mean, there's some kind of, like, mind power with all that, right? Like, Jean has, like, the mind be- abilities and can, like, read minds, and they have, like, delicate, like, mm. telecommunication sure, with yeah. their minds and stuff. So, like, 
dreamer. That's mind, right? You have dreams because you're mind, and she makes mind whips and mind shields. And but seeing new abilities from her has been a lot more fun. So. Even though no one wanted to look when they shot at stuff. Yeah, I it don't. It was weird. I don't understand that. Like, Nina did, like, a... But I'm like, like, she's going to hit someone. What, what are you shooting at? And then even, uh, like, Alex, it was, like, looking down with, like, her hood. Like, they never explained, like, don't look at them, and then they won't well, harm Magan you. McGon was just or... like, bow, bow, yeah. bow. So I don't know what it was. It, maybe it was just I don't. the shots that happened, and I don't know. And maybe they were looking down at their marks. And maybe they're making noises, so like, bam. Not sure. All righty. Well, let's move on over to the Q and A's and see what people s thought or saw. Maybe some people know about Transylvain or something. Yeah, I don't. As that. I do have to say, I feel so bad for Eve. Eve. She's been through so much. She's been through so much with Lena. She's been through so much with Lex last season two seasons ago and this season and last season like she's been through so much and i don't know like this eve through um crisis after crisis yeah i don't know if she's been through as much but this character herself has been through like so to what extent much. has she been dealing with whatever Poor Eve. That's one thing with the crisis stuff is like it's hard to know exactly what everyone's done because like you could be like oh well that didn't happen or like well we still had this happen. I think after crisis she had to re meet Lex and re fall in love with him. I think. Hmm. All right, guys, we're gonna do our Q and A's. We do the questions and answers and all that kind of stuff from Twitter where we take your guys' thoughts, questions, concerns, whatnot, and uh, read through some of those. Talk about that. Uh, you can use hashtag SupergirlQ&A to submit any of your thoughts, and we will try to discuss those at the end of live shows. So we have this, we have Flash, we have Batwoman, um, and some other stuff as well. Nick the Champ says, if you can have uh, only one of the following appear in this final season, who do you pick? James, Kat, Wynn, mm. Clark, Monel, mm. Imra, Maxwell, mm. Allura, or someone else? Huh. Um... I'm hoping we see, like, Alora and Argo and all of I, that more so with Superman. I'm hoping. I don't need Clark because so, he's in Superman. Exactly. Lois, so so like, I, I don't feel like I need that. Emra, I don't really feel like we need. I feel like if you get winners like that, like, you might do, like, the Win Monel, Emra, like, do that, that whole grouping, crew. maybe. But maybe not. Because Win went with them, right? Mm hmm. So. Maybe I guess James. that would work. But James, yeah, I think that's completely out of right field. Like we haven't we haven't seen him in so long, you mm -hmm. know? And we just it, have a sister. It I would want make him, sense for him to come back because of the sister. I want know? him to come back with his new buff arms and his giant like <laughs> mustache. Like, yeah, like <laughs> Steve Harvey kind of looking mustache that he's got now. Like I want him to have that when he comes back. Yeah. What it, it just, happened to you? Like whatever he's been doing, like his journalists and stuff there in that little town, like he just like been working out, doing stuff, grew a mustache, comes back, and it's like, hey guys. Pick up the shield for Guardian. <laughs> Maybe. Just for one last like, time. That could be kind of cool too. Wow, the shield got much smaller. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited to watch Mortal Kombat because, like, he just, I mean, I know he he got his arms more worked out on, but he also has fake arms, so it's probably going to be hard to tell, really, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Ella says, do you guys think Kara will meet Zod in the Phantom Zone? Um, that could be an interesting idea, but it also depends on if if the idea should be that Superman has dealt with that already because Superman in this universe had already been around and was kind of like in like a lesser, like he wasn't really doing everything when Supergirl showed up because right. he already had done stuff. He had already caught Lex and put him in jail and mm -hmm. all these things. So the Zod thing may have already happened, but... Um, it doesn't mean that I don't think that, that could be like an interesting story beat of even just having him in there and like they have to get away from him and he doesn't escape or anything. Yeah, I'd but, like to see some Easter eggs like that or like Zod has been here. <laughs> Zod was here. Yeah, something. But like uh, Brainy said, the Phantom Zone is completely different. It's been hit by crisis. So like the opposite of There's what a bunch happened of realities to crisis. And stuff, right? Is in there. So like Zod's over here in this one, and maybe that's what those portals are too. Maybe the Phantom portal things mm -hmm. are the Phantom's 
teleporting from dimension. one dimensional phantom zone to the other dimensional phantom zone. Anymore. Right, that's what I'm thinking as so, well. So Kara and her dad won't be able to just get to the thing that they're looking for. They'll have to go through those to get to a whole new go area. Go to another phantom zone. Which, I wonder if like each one will have a different prisoner in it. Like, was this one that she was in just happened to be her dad's? Maybe. Will they go to ones that have nobody? Will they go to ones that have a lot of people? And have Does more Easter each eggs, one have like, filtered one? through? I don't know. That'd be cool. I'd have, like, each place be something special. Uh, and- Dr. Winchester says, when the season ends, where would you want the characters to end up? For example, I would love it if either Dreamer or Miss Martian joined the Legends. Ooh. I don't know which one I'd prefer to have on the Legends. If Nia goes, then that'd be Brainy and Nia. And that would be fun. I never talked about like Monel before. Like, man, put Monel on the Legends. Yeah, Monel would be a very good fit. Because the Legends doesn't always have people who are like super strong or Mm-mm. super, like, not only super, super powered people in general. Monel, though, like, Dreamer might work, but you need the CGI. Monel is just like. Smart. He's just a person who just can lift stuff and run fast. And it's like, I feel like the CGI for oh, that I'm is much wind. easier. Wynn has, yeah, he doesn't have any powers. No, Wynn, I guess. Techie, maybe. Yeah. I'd like to see Wynn over there. Um, well, that wouldn't be as bad. I don't necessarily want any characters on any other shows specifically. Um, I don't know. I don't have anything where I'm like, I need this person over here. Um, I hope that some people might show up every once in a while in the Superman and Lois show if that's connected. Yeah. Like, you could have... Alex, Cara, Monel, you know, whatever, kind of showing up. Or the other Lex, like, this Lex showing up over there to, mm-hmm. like, see what's going on and whatever. So, I don't know. If I were to pick someone to join the Legends, though, like, someone that I'd like to keep, like, Magan is cool, Nia is cool, but I think out of this whole crew, Alex would fit the best. Hmm. Or possibly win, bring win back. Because Wynn's Alex personality be, is so much fun. Wouldn't Alex be too Sarah y? Uh, yeah, but I mean, you have Sarah and then you have um, Blondie. <laughs> What's her name? Ava. Ava? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, but I think. A lot of them are like that, so. I think that she would be a neat, like. Especially if Sarah had to leave, putting Alex over there would be kind of cool because she also has the different weapon things that she can do. Yeah, that's... So then, rather than... Like, she could have her costume, but just pull out what weapons she needs at different times and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then it, it's kind of like a cure-all for some situations, but it also just gives her some utility, yeah. which is kind of cool. Pepsi Queen says, Hate to be the Debbie Downer, but do you think that is actually her father? Or is it a criminal alien in disguise? Or could it be someone that looks like her dad? Or just simply... Uh, enough and it is her father with no deception involved. Or just plain mind tricks on her. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know. And maybe we'll find out next episode too about it, but uh, Silas, the vampire guy, what he was seeing seemed to be a phantom, but was that phantom really there? Was it that he got tainted with fear and there was like a fear like mirage thing? Like even um, the father said something about like, you, you, you know, he saved Kara but he's like, you have that symbol of my family on there. You must be a mirage or some, something along those lines, right? Like some kind of image that was like a fake image messing with him. So even he said, maybe you're a fake image messing with me. But do you have a fake image that's messing with her say that she's a fake image messing with him yeah. to help like give him credibility that he's real? <laughs> you know, like... Possibly. I don't know. It's I'm excited to see where that storyline goes. That should be good. Inez says that uh, in another show, someone found their father that they thought was dead, and it turned out that they were evil. Could this be a similar situation uh, with Kara finding uh, Zorel? Also, in case you were wondering, they did recast Zorel because um, they had flashbacks, right, of Zorel right, and stuff. Of them saying goodbye and putting her in the pod. Yeah. So, um, could this be the dad? But could he be evil? But also the same idea could fall into, like, could it be someone else who can shapeshift or do some weird deception trickery or something, too? So I think it's a possibility um, rather than... It, something about comic books is, like, it's always sometimes tricky in the comic book TV shows to take everything at face value. Yeah. 
because you never know if there's some kind of weird little twist or trick that they're trying to pull on you. I do not expect a happy ending with uh, her dad. <laughs> um, Dip says, do you guys think that Supergirl's team is too big? I personally don't like it this way. Arrow went this way in the last few seasons, and I didn't like that either. Um, I mean, we are getting more people involved on the team. I think Silas is just going to be a smaller part for now. Um, McGon is just here, and I think I think what they're doing is because Supergirl's gone, you bring all these people back to get Supergirl back so that when things happen, you have the different power bases you need to like, okay, well, McGon's going to go and help with this mm -hmm. while Jean's helping with this here. Divide um, and conquer. Because you can't always have... Alex can't take care of everything. Right. Jean's much more on a similar power base as Supergirl is, so like you could have him help with some more things there. So I think because of their different power bases and what they're doing right now, you do that... And then you send them back and, you know, McGon go back to Mars or whatever. Like, you just work that way. Brandon that, can go back to doing more techie stuff rather than fighting and doing this and that. And with it being the final season, you bring sure, people back. Sure, you're getting more people back and stuff to say goodbye and see where all the characters go and whatnot. So. Exactly. Um, and then Dobby says, Lex is so great, he can even impress himself. I know. He did good on it. Thought uh, he would reveal Tessmacher killed Kara's dad. But he might have forgot that because of the mind wipe. Could Lena go to prison for a bit? Does the show overuse Lex as a villain? Um, well, the one thing with... I have to remember if the Kara's dad thing was after Crisis. Was it after Crisis? I can't remember I when they did the trick. I think it was, but we also had Tessmacher say, I have killed for you. Sure. So. So it really it doesn't matter. kind of addressed. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much with that, though that might be something that Alex and Kara would want to know or something later on. Um, does the show overuse Lex as a villain? Um, I really liked what they did in season four, I think it was, when they had, like, Lex was, like, the end all villain of the season but he had hands in it while other people were doing things i know that was so, so i loved it maybe we could have that again too but i also john crier does a pretty good job with lex and i kind of enjoy watching him be lex luther they do overuse him but i not against it you know <laughs> like and with this being the last I season him. having him be like the main villain may be a good idea maybe True. maybe or maybe you have him in there doing some stuff in the background Maybe she finds Zod and he escapes or whatever from the Phantom Zone and she has to fight a Kryptonian or maybe maybe something else happens and like you have like Lex is there and he either is at the end that we have to deal with him or midway through the season and then we have to finish off with whatever the other villain is or something, you know? Mm -hmm. Especially since they're looking at like some Lex Poses and some different things. Lex Poses. Maybe I love he it. doesn't even get defeated by Kara. Maybe he gets defeated by like the Lex Pose? Stuff. Yeah. Like not maybe not the Lex Pose per, <laughs> per se, but I don't know. Like, Supergirl doesn't defeat Lex. Kara defeats Lex. You know? Like, something like that. That'd be cool. Um, the but, pen is more powerful than the sword. But with that, could Lena go to prison? I highly doubt that Lena will go to prison. Really? I think she will go to prison more than Lex will now. Well, yeah. Because Lex is so smooth. <laughs> but I think some... I think... Andrea can work with Lena and they can make sure that Lena stays out. And I sure. think that those two will have to team up. I will say, though, I think that given what the judge and jury did here, if the biggest thing was that there was no hard evidence and they just believe that these people were just saying this stuff, like, hopefully that kind of still works in their favor and they don't go to jail. Yeah. Um, the worst thing is that they both said, one said, I killed for you. Yeah. The other one, Lena admitted to like creating no no non non no cherry. No non cherry. No non cherry. Okay. The cherry thing, and uh, we had like like just some admit admitting of things that were being worked on, you know. So. All right. Well, guys, that's the end for Q and A's. Uh, thank you guys for submitting questions and thoughts. Thank you for also commenting and whatnot in the poll, so that we could talk about that in the beginning. Which means we need another one for this episode, so we can talk about it next episode. Um, which I think we should do uh, for Kara's dad. We want to know what you guys think of him. Uh, one option is that it's just Kara's dad, exactly like he told us. Uh, another option is that it is. Uh, 
something else whether it's an alien or a mirage or whatever or do you think it is Kara's dad but he is uh, more on the evil side now been twisted and turned because of all the fear and things that are going on um, and maybe also setting up some lies for Kara or he's good Kara's dad that was the, that was the first one oh. I think it's Kara's dad good man who saved Argo and yeah because that's the one I go with. Put him in the Phantom Zone. He's good, Kara's dad. So you think it's just Kara's dad? He's There's nothing bad about him. He's just stuck here. Mm-hmm. Been, been and then he has to the sacrifice himself at the end. Well, that's... We don't need... We don't worry about that. But... <laughs> so let us know, guys, what you think uh, is going on with Kara's dad. Because it very well could just be straight up, here's Kara's dad. It's exactly what they told us. But there could be something else more nefarious. And I'm going to go with something else. Because I think I wouldn't trust anything in the Phantom Zone. So that's where I stand. That's where Melanie stands. Let us know where you stand. Leave some comments on what you guys think, and we'll talk about it next time. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe so you can see more Supergirl. We have more Flash, Batwoman, all the other CW shows, and lots of other things here on the channel. Uh, And if you want something completely different, not super related at all, you can also just start in Bridgerton. Maybe you can check that out. (laughs) Check out the description below for the poll, uh, for the Q&As, all the links down there, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.